In this video, I will show you total two examples of diode DC circuit. This is the first example. Find the voltage V and current I in the circuit. See, this is our circuit in which we have applied a 5 volt voltage at this terminal. And we have to calculate the voltage across the diode D and the current that is flowing through the diode. See, we have supplied a positive 5 volt at this terminal or at this node. What does that mean? To analyze this kind of circuit, I would like to draw the complete circuit. We have 5 volt applied at this terminal. What does that mean? This indicates that I will have a 5 volt source whose positive terminal will be connected at this terminal and negative terminal will be connected to ground terminal. This circuit and the previous circuit are the same circuit and for that circuit we have to calculate the current i and the voltage across the diode d and we will consider this diode d as silicon diode so our complete circuit will look like this one this is 5 volt source this is our 1 kilo ohm resistor and this is the silicon diode we have to calculate the voltage across this terminal to ground terminal and the current i in this circuit now see the positive terminal of this 5 volt source will be connected with the P side of the diode D and the negative terminal will be connected with the N side of the diode D. That means this 5 volt source will drive the diode D in forward bias. When the diode D will be in forward bias, we can replace it with its constant voltage drop model or a 0 0.7 volt source. Now let me do that. So if I replace the diode D with a 0 0.7 volt source, our circuit will look like this. Now see what will be the value of V here. If I replace the diode D because of its forward bias with a 0 0.7 volt source, the voltage V between this terminal to this terminal will be 0 0.7 volt. We have to calculate the current I through the diode. Now see, this will be a total series circuit. The current I that will be flowing through the diode D will be the current of the circuit. That means the same current will flow through all over the circuit and the direction of the current will be in this direction because this is the positive terminal of the source and this is the negative terminal. Current flows from positive terminal towards the negative terminal of the source. Therefore, as current will be entering from this direction to this resistance of 1 kilo ohm, this side will be positive and this side will be negative. Now see, how do we calculate the current in this circuit? If I simply apply KVL in this series circuit or in this loop, I will get the current that is flowing in this circuit or the current that is flowing through the diode D. Now see, if I apply KVL, I will get if I apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this circuit, I will get at first I will see this 5 volt source, its negative terminal first, positive terminal later, so its voltage will be plus 5. After that I will see this 1 kilo ohm resistor and the current that will be flowing through this 1 kilo ohm resistor will be I. So its voltage will be minus I into 1000. After that I will see this 0 0.7 volt source and its positive terminal first negative terminal later so its voltage will be minus 0 0.7 volt this will be equal to zero so from which i can calculate the current i that will be flowing through this diode or in this series circuit will be 5 minus 0 0.7 divided by 1000 and that will be equal to 0 0.0043 ampere or 4.0 3 milli ampere so the current i in the circuit will be 4.3 milli ampere and that current i will be flowing all over the circuit this will be the second example of this video we have to find the current i that is flowing through the diode d1 and the voltage v v will be the voltage from this terminal to ground terminal from this circuit. The diodes are made of silicon. Here we have two diodes D1 and D2. We have to consider the diodes D1 and D2 will be made of silicon. Now see with this kind of circuit structure it will be difficult for us to analyze the circuit. Therefore I will draw the simplified circuit of this circuit. See we have a 3 volt source connected here. It means that I will have a voltage source whose positive terminal will be connected here and a negative terminal will be connected here and the value of that voltage source will be 3 volt 
and I have minus 3 volt here that means I will have another voltage source whose positive terminal will be connected here and negative terminal will be connected here and it will be 3 volt so if I redraw our circuit our circuit will look like this circuit now see we have to calculate the current through the diode D1 which is I and the voltage from this terminal to this terminal before going to the circuit solution let me show you the simulation of this circuit so this is our diode circuit in the simulator you will see the current that will be flowing through the diode D1 is 0 ampere and the voltage between this terminal to this terminal is minus 1.23 volt ok now let me proceed with the circuit solution let's say this is our point A this is B C A this A B C A they will form loop 1 A C D E A let's say this will form our loop 2 now look at the diode D1 if you look at the diode D1 you will see the positive terminal of this 3 volt source will be connected at P side and negative terminal will be connected at N side so so this 3 volt voltage source let's say V1 will try to drive the diode D1 in forward bias or will try to conduct the current in this direction now look at the voltage minus 3 volt you will see the negative terminal will be connected with the P side and positive terminal will be connected with the N side that means this will be positive this will be negative this 3 volt voltage source or V2 voltage source will try to conduct the current in this direction or it will try to drive the diode D1 in reverse bias now if you look at the effect of diode in the forward direction and reverse direction due to two voltage sources of equal values you will see the effect in the forward direction will be exactly equal to the effect in the reverse direction as a result the net effect of this voltage source and this voltage source will be zero therefore the current i that will be flowing through the diode d1 will be equal to zero ampere okay so the diode D1 is not conducting any current that means the diode D1 is in off state and we know that when a diode is in off state we can replace that with an open circuit that means I can remove the diode D1 from this network if I remove the diode D1 from the network our circuit will look like this now see this will be a total series circuit and we have to calculate the voltage from this terminal to this terminal if you look at the circuit V will be the sum of voltage across this 5 kilo ohm resistor and this minus 3 volt voltage source therefore at first I have to calculate the current I that is flowing through the circuit to calculate the voltage drop across this 5 kilo ohm resistor as this will be a total series circuit the current I will be same all over the circuit now see the positive terminal of this 3 volt will be connected at the P side of the diode D2 and the negative terminal will be connected with the N side this negative terminal will be connected at the N side and positive terminal will be connected at the P side that means both this 3 volt and this 3 volt source are driving the diode D2 in forward bias as the diode D2 is in forward bias we can replace it with its constant voltage drop model or 0.7 volt source now let me do that I have replaced the diode D2 with its constant voltage drop model now see the current I will be same all over the circuit see I will be flowing in this direction so this terminal will be positive and this terminal will be negative this terminal of 5 kilo ohm will be positive and this terminal of 5 kilo ohm will be negative now let's say I will apply KVL in this loop If I apply KVL in the loop, I will get plus 3 minus I into 10,000 minus 0 0.7 minus I into 5,000 
plus 3 equal to 0 after that I will get I equal to 6 minus 0 0.7 over 15000 and I will get current I equal to 353 micro ampere so we know the current that is flowing through this 5 kilo ohm and that is equal to 353 micro ampere now see this voltage V is the voltage across this 5 kilo ohm initially I will see this positive terminal and this negative terminal so the voltage across 5 kilo ohm resistor will be positive after that I will see this voltage source and its negative terminal first positive terminal later so its voltage will be minus 3 so how do we calculate voltage across 5 kilo ohm resistor simple ohms law current through the 5 kilo ohm resistor into its resistance so that will be 353 microampere or 353 into 10 to the power minus 6 get multiplied with 5 kilo ohm or 5000 minus 3 which will be equal to minus 1.23 volt so in the given circuit V is equal to minus 1.3 volt and the current I is equal to 0 ampere okay that's it thank you